Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Atwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can do the cross-browser testing and cross-platform testing in test project. So we'll try to create a test in test project and we'll execute the test in all browser which is locally installed in our system. Then same test we will execute in the different system which is available. Right now I have Windows and Mac operating system. So I will run all the tests in all the browsers in different systems. So when you run tests in the different browsers, we call this a cross browser testing. And the moment you run the test in different platforms, we call this a cross platform test. Another important point, the moment you start running your test into different browsers, right, you will see a couple of issues because same test will not get executed. You might face some issues. So we'll see how to fix it when you run the same test in different browsers. So these are the tests which we already created in our previous videos and these are the jobs which we already discussed in the previous videos. So today in this video we are more focusing on how we can run the test on different agent and in the different browsers. So right now you can see I am working on windows but if I go back to my agents I can run my test on the different agents. So right now you can see I have Mac which is already connected you can see it is an ideal state. And I also have a Windows 10 which is connected here, right? This one. So I want to run my test on the different agents. So I will record one test now and I will show you how you can run test on the local system, on the different uh, browsers. And same goes with other agent with the different browsers. Only thing is make sure your agents are connected up and running. Rest everything is taken care by test project. You don't need to do anything. You don't need a separate Selenium grid or any other third party software to be installed you just need agents to be connected that's all so we can use any other uh, any existing test also in order to run on the different agents but safer side let me create a fresh project sorry fresh test case and i will show you how you can run it so again i will go back to create a new test i want to run on web click on next this i will give again a login description I will keep as blank web application we already have one CRM application which we added in our previous videos in case if you haven't watched the previous videos please go ahead and watch that a video where we discuss everything about test project click on next now it is asking how do you want to create a test do you want to record edit or blank test I want to record the test because our main focus is how to run on the different agents on the different browsers so let's wait it will take few seconds and it will launch that application so our application is loaded already you can see it is already in the recording mode and this is also is the recording so let's go ahead and start entering the username and password so username is admin password is admin123 click on login each and every section is getting recorded in the left panel as you can see and once you are done with login i want to simply go ahead click on this welcome admin and also i want to log up so these are the steps which i did now i don't want any further steps to be recorded because process will remain same whether you have one step or ten steps once you close the browser your test will be recorded and you can see right now this is the uh, test which we have and these are the recorded steps in case if you want to modify anything if you want to change the order any changes which you want to make you can directly come here and make it now if i go back let's click on this run option it is asking you which browser you want to use in this particular agent so right now you can see uh, i have a agent windows 10 mukesh and i also have another agent called mukesh mac in my Mac, I have these three browsers installed Safari, Firefox and Chrome and in Agent Windows, I have I, Firefox and Chrome. So first, let me show you how to run locally, then I will show you how you can run on Mac. So just to make sure our test is running fine, I'm selecting Chrome 78 on Windows system and I'm clicking on next. It is asking, do you want to override or change anything? As of now, keep it as it is and click on run. So it started the browser and uh, it will do that same login activity and finally it will do the logout activity and it 
clicked on admin clicked on logout and done so test is executed on this particular system which is windows and chrome now let me run the same test on different agent for that let me connect to my mac system so that i can show you the screens for that i will be using team viewer so i'm using team viewer and using team viewer i am remotely connecting to my mac and you can see this is my mac device and this is my test project agent which is up and running so make sure this is running then only it will connect to your test project and once it is connected now you are ready to go so what i will do let me first select agent from the drop down mac and now you can use any uh, browser which you want so right now on this particular agent i have three browsers installed safari 12 firefox 69 and chrome 78 i'm going to use chrome 78 and i'm going to click on next and i'm going to use run and immediately i go back and see how it is behaving in my mac system so this is what the test started and uh, it will take a few seconds it logged in it did log out as well and it is happening in my mac system so you can see how easy it is to connect or run your tests into the different system so right now i'm just using windows mac but if you have linux system or any other operating system once you connect the agent you can control directly via this web portal how cool is it right let's create a job now and let's see how this part works so i'm going to create a new job and this job name i will give as a cross platform and you can give any description to this job like this job uh, will run all test in or let me give this job will run test in all browsers which is installed okay you can give any name just select web android or ios i'm using web as of now click on next it is asking which browser you want to start so i'm going to select all the browsers this job should run all the tests which we have designed so far sh should run in all the browsers i'm going to create uh, click on create another important part in case if you want to schedule it you can create and schedule like say you want to run it nightly execution so 3 a.m 4 a.m whatever time you want you can execute right now i am executing all the tests on this particular agent which is windows in case if you want you can also select mac and you can also select which browsers you want okay so again i have to connect to team viewer so i'm going to select only these three browsers which is currently installed in my system in case if you have other browser installed like opera or any other browsers it will list down here right now i'm going to click on create so the job which we created it's showing now here and the moment you click here it will ask you give me the test which you want to run under this job okay so right now we don't have any test so you can either drag and drop all the tests which you want to run just now we created this login test and let me drop it here so the moment you run this job it will run this login test in all the three browsers and you will get the report okay so let's do one thing let's run this job if you want individual run then you can directly run from here but right now i'm going to run this particular job which is cross platform and let's wait for the execution job execution has started and it will run all the browsers one by one so it will start with chrome it will finish the execution it will just log out one browser is done it will take i or firefox it took the firefox it will continue and let's wait it logged in and for firefox let's see okay for firefox it's not stable so you can see when you run your test make sure it should run in all the browsers because as of now you can see it did not work with firefox okay and the last browser is i browser so let's see how it behaves in i browser okay and uh, 
it should click on admin okay great so you see the test executed in all the browsers only it failed for firefox so it is a good example that how your report will look like the test is running fine in two browsers but it is not running fine in one browser so how to fix it we will see so this is actually a good part that it failed so at least i can show you how to fix it so before fixing uh, let me just refresh the browser and let me also show you the report part and we'll see how to fix the test like it should run in all the browser this is what our main requirement so the moment you click on this you can see this right analytics or this report exit section you can see just now we executed this particular job and uh, right now you can see it executed fine on chrome and i only it failed for firefox okay the moment you click here it says failed here and you can also see the steps which step got failed okay so it says uh, this logout part failed and uh, it is also having the screenshot because logout was not present and you can see the timeout as well the timeout occurred after 15 second it was not able to perform click because state is invalid that's fine it gives one idea what to do next apart from this everything executed fine and if you go back to your test you can see there's a link the moment you click on this it will navigate to the test apart from this you can also download this report so it, you will get a pdf report and uh, you can see the complete report for the different browsers and it got downloaded okay so this is what you can customize this report if you want and you can see this for chrome it is 100 percent for firefox it failed 88 percent was the success ratio step eight failed duration was this this was the message this was the screenshot this is awesome which I liked about test project. It gives you proper detailed description report which failed at what time, which step with proper screenshot, everything it will give you. Okay, so now let's see how to fix it. If you need any other info about the uh, like uh, reporting part, let me know. But this is the detailed part about the you know report. In case if you want to search any job or test, you can directly you know uh, search from here you also get a range like within seven days how many tests executed and so on you can directly search all the reports or the jobs from here itself okay so now let's quickly see what changes we can do to this test so that our test should be you know stable enough so this is the test which we have to change now if you go to this test let's see what changes we can do Okay, so you can see it is actually, if you go back to Firefox, it was not clicking on the welcome admin, right? Because of that welcome admin, it was failing. So what we can do, we can, um, you can see there is one action called click if visible. So what we can do, let's say this click is not working. So apart from this, if you want to search, just search for click and let's see what are the different methods are available, right? So you can see we have click click using javascript click if visible click if again visible these are you know frequently used one let me try click using javascript and let's save this and uh, let me go back and run the test again so this is what we have okay okay let me so let's run this particular test on firefox and let's see and this time we will wait and it executed fine so click using javascript word in this case worked in this case right so what we'll do let's try to run our job and let's see 
whatever action we did right now it is visible for all the browser or not so what you can do go back and run the job again it executed for chrome that's fine let's wait for firefox firefox just now we checked that solution worked actually okay awesome the last thing is for ie browser and awesome it worked for all the solution so this is how you can debug you need to just see which options are what other actions can be done on that particular web element run for that browser and see how it is behaving with all the browsers now if you go back and see the report part you will see this report is 100% passed 100% passed for all the browsers and everything is in green so this is the one of the interesting feature i like about rest project so if you also like this feature from the rest project then give it a try try to run your test in the different browsers and the different platform as well and in case if you find any issue okay uh, like just now we got one issue so in case if you find this kind of issues which we already fixed let me know in the comment section or you can post your question or you can ask your query in this particular chat box and they will be happy to assist you that's all i have from my side guys if you love this feature then uh, hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next videos have a nice day bye bye